Warm weather and tourists are two of the main ingredients that keep Mackinac Island's economy healthy. Channel 7's Jim Harrington visited the Northern Michigan Island Resort and has this report. Part of the charm of Mackinac Island is time and everything just sort of slows down. And then along comes a front-end loader on Mackinac Island. Horses having to compete with pickup trucks. Now, wait a minute. Tractors, cement trucks on quaint cars or barred Mackinac Island is nothing sacred. Now, relax, Jim. It's temporary. There's just a bit of progress comes to the island that uh, time almost forgot. They're putting in a whole new sewer system that has been, uh, what should I say, uh, over 100 years old. And while they tore up some of these streets, they found about 200 foot of length. There were still old logs. All new streets, gutters, and sidewalks will be ready by mid-June as the horde of fudgies, that's what they call tourists here, as the horde of fudgies invade this island park. More progress. Fudge King Riba is doubling the size of the old Lakeview Hotel. A 150-boat marina is in the works. And the luxurious queen of Mackinac, the Grand Hotel up on the hill, is going to stretch the season and stay open till November. Reason? Business is getting better every year. The resort travel economy is booming. Down in uh, Lansing, the state economists say 85 is going to set a record. Ryba just checks his statewide fudge sales, a never-miss barometer, and he agrees. Still a little chill in the air. The lilacs haven't even bloomed on Mackinac Island, and there is no shortage of Shays lounges. But they're ready, and if there's to be record throngs in the Northland, the attitude here is great. Let them come. From Mackinac Island, Jim Harrington, Channel 7 Action News reporting.